Throughout the Racing Rivals Extra Series, ITV2 has offered you, the viewer, the unique opportunity to win a fully funded £75,000 drive in next year's championship. After receiving thousands of entries, 100 people were randomly selected to attend the first of three stages in the selection process. A day of testing on a karting circuit in Northampton. The 100 people came from all parts of the country with different levels of experience. My name's Ian Jackson. I'm a civil engineer from uh, Leeds. Stuart Fox. I come from Stoke-on-Trent. Design engineer. Garth in Scotland. Freelance motor journalist. Huddersfield in West Yorkshire. Norfolk. And singer. Taxi company. Mortgage consultant. Occupation is uh, trying to be a full-time racing driver. <laughs> but before they could get onto the track, they were given a safety briefing by GP karting owner Glenn Clark. The one thing I need to tell you about this particular track, it's quite slippery. So please, the tyres on the cars work exactly the same as any other type of racing tyre. Take your time for the first few laps. Get some heat into the tyres. You're here to enjoy it. It is a challenge. So please, once you get out onto the track, just be natural. Everybody get up and go. Assessing the drivers on the day were racing rival Julian Westwood, promoter Justin Chamberlain and karting expert Glenn Clark. What we're looking for here is to be consistent but they need to be neat and tidy. This track is very, very slippery. Some of them are going too quickly into the corners, they're having to brake very, very late and therefore they're making very, very slow exits. The drivers that tend to panic into the corners clearly have not much experience at all. So we're looking for precision overtaking, precision moves around the corners. Fabulous opportunity to get yourself into a touring car seat. Loving to be here, it's a bit of a dream in it. A lot of people want to be engine drivers, I've always wanted to be a racing driver. I want to win. I want to experience the thrill of racing cars. But unfortunately, not everyone will be given the opportunity to experience the thrill of racing cars. After careful consideration, the judges selected 25 drivers to go through to the next stage. For these lucky ones, it's off to a test track in Warwickshire, where they get to drive in the real thing. And for the rest, it's all down to experience. They've had a good laugh, you know. We've come down, I've come down here, I've got picked into the last hundred, and I thought, you know, I was over the moon out of so many thousands that's probably entered, like. And I've come down here and I've had a laugh. I don't, I don't expect to get through, like. But to now, I've had a really great day, you know. Back at Brands Hatch, the drivers are getting down to business. For the second stage of the competition to win a fully funded drive in next year's Racing Rivals, the 25 people selected from the first round karting event were invited to a test track in the Midlands, where they were given the chance to prove their driving skills for real. Five. Playing a vital part during the day were some of our Racing Rivals, whose role was to familiarise the drivers with the cars and the circuit. In addition, they would be marking the drivers on their strengths and weaknesses. Racing rival Julian Westwood explains. On the form, there's things like braking techniques, steering techniques, throttle technique, gear change, um, general pace, speed at which you climatise to the car and the track and so forth. Each is marked out of 10, gives you a total score out of 100. Okay? And it's that score that will determine whether you make it through to the next round. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> Exhilarated. It's fantastic. I still can't believe it's happening. It's... I still think I'm asleep somewhere. <laughs> I'll tell you after the first lap or so. <laughs> if I come in and get out, you know he's very confident. the day the pressure was really on for the contestants and for our racing rivals temporarily off. It's quite nice for a change you know sitting here and <laughs> marking someone else instead of having you lot watching us with beady eyes. The performance of the drivers fluctuated over the day from faultless. You can't really fault the lad to be honest with you. Um, he was just very very good all round. To flawed. He just needs to learn Overall, 
the standard was high, and after it was all said and done, there had to be winners and losers, as only ten contestants could go through to the final stage. How are you feeling, Chris? <laughs> excited. <laughs> really excited. Yeah, looking forward to it now. <laughs> So now it's down to one of these ten to win that coveted £75,000 sponsored drive. Well, while we're on the subject of winners, throughout the series we gave you the chance to win a car. My